time in high school when I was really cool. Ginger people. Oh, thank you. Oh, Are you a <laughs> You have one of these? <laughs> Imagine me coming to save you, you'd have no chance. Don't save me, there's no point. I actually have a couple people sit up front. Just we gotta get the weight up front. Come on, Tom. One and done, Tom. Come on. One more. Drop me in. You okay, babe? We are the day after the Shaw Classic. Brian and Kerry Shaw have kindly invited us down for some activities. Uh, amongst that is some American food. So we have candy dribs, um, the boss, which is, I believe, pulled pork burger, some bits and pieces. And then this was recommended to me, some macaroni cheese. And these were in America. A Coors Light. Let's have a wee, let's sample a little bit of this. Oh my god. Mm. Oh. 
Oh. Let me bite the burger just to finish it off. That is a boss. It's really nice. Oh. I'm going to eat the rest of it. See you later. Perfect. Here you go. Thank you much. Absolutely. One, two, and then three. It's so good. This is like, I feel like I'm on a tropical island. Yeah, it's refreshing. <laughs> Yeah, I feel better than I thought I would. I woke up in the morning about three or four, feeling like mm, death, but now I feel all right. But yeah, um, my goal is always to obviously you want to win every comp, and my goal is if I don't win it, is to podium at least. And like since World Series, man, like I said, I podium twice. That's my most ever. So Glasgow next. My goal is to win that. Rogue win that. Worst comes to the worst. If I get zero points in an event, I know now I can still get my podium. So. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy watching Adam Bishop fish. I like it, it's like so you always you're constantly learning. It gets me outside, you know, I like being outside and I've always fished as a kid, so Luke likes to go out and get in cold water, but for me I'm passing a line into it, so watch yourself. Look, yeah. Alright guys, we are back at Target. At this time, I'm taking Luke for the full blowing Target experience. Best shop in the USA. Let's go. Seriously, they're a bag after this. Let's see the rings that I should Five hours later. Rings sold out. Rings sold out. That's why I took Luke with me, because I went and ended up getting... There's nothing wrong with plant-based stuff, but I went and got plant-based cookies. So uh, we'll get Luke to pick these ones. Lucky Charm Treats. They sound quite nice. Golden Grahams. Oh, they look, they're s'mores. Or, oh, s'mores. Walk into Morrison's in Scotland and you get, like, Cocoa Pop stuff. And, like, you walk in here and you get Lucky Charms. You know, I'd Reese's Pieces. Pizza flavoured Pringles. That's America do it best, eh? Peanut butter full pretzels. Oh. Why do you get out and about in America? Oh. Yeah, mule. This is going to be so expensive. Nerds. Remember nerds? Gummy clusters. Mr. Beast, you are one of the worst people to make chocolate like this. Is, so he's probably getting, he's probably made millions of this. If I made a Tom Stockman chocolate, it would flow this out the water. I'm still getting it. Bush is the best sweets in the United States. You ever had these? Yeah. Oh, they're one of the nicest things in the world. Right, we're just going to do lucky dip with the hand, right? You tell me when to stop. Stop. Peanut butter. And then you go five hours later, I'm still sitting here. We have We all click. He likes his hot wheels. I mean, we came in for one time. Might have to buy another suitcase, but. Three hundred dollars later. <laughs> So I just had a nice couple of relaxing days uh, out here at the Shaw Classic. So yesterday, did a bit in the lake, as you saw, in the rubber rings. Today, down in Target, picking some sweets for Big Tom. Looking back at the show again, just... I think it was one of the most amazing shows I think we've done. Um, from a pure, like, emotional point of view, it was very, um, very emotional all the way throughout the whole weekend. Um, obviously, with Brian's last professional strongman show, Big Brian coming out and talk, which was amazing to see. I don't know if you guys saw, but 
Ryan's pec, he'd kind of torn his pec um, on the chest press. He still battled on him and just what a, what a monster, man. And his, his talk at the end was, was really nice. What do we say about Big Tommy, the, the comeback kid? Um, yeah, I, I, I said my stuff in the last video. Um, feeling pretty good. Um, mentally a little bit drained, emotionally a little bit drained. Excited to get back home to Cushy and the Bump. Got a few presents from people out here, which was really nice. VIP group, thank you very much. Um, haven't opened it up yet, but we'll open it uh, when I get home with Cushy. And a lovely lady knitted a blanket for us as well, which was amazing. So, bit of a busy time, but we'll get it done. I'll get home eventually. Um, but with that being said, we're going to go off and fly home now. Cardiff Giants Live is next, the Deadlift World Championship. Really excited for that. Big Gav's hometown. I'm going to go and chill. Cardiff, we'll see you soon.